of April the 7th. Saturday, April the 11th, uh, from 8.30 to 10. Uh, it would be just uh, a district meeting with Public Works. There have been some concerned neighbors about wanting to know more information about how the process of how Public Works works. So that meeting will take place at the uh, Fort Negley Visitor Center uh, on um, Fort Negley Boulevard. And again, it's this Saturday, April the 11th, uh, from 8.30 to 10. The second meeting um, is of some concern as well. It's going to be taking place uh, at the 1900 12th Avenue South um, building, which is the Special Olympics building. Uh, it's on the corner of Argyle Avenue and 12th. And there has been some concerns about some development there. And so that meeting will take place from 11 to 12 noon. Uh, if they need more information, that they can always call me at 615-386-9246. And then uh, on April the 18th, uh, Council uh, Member Berkeley and I will be hosting a meeting uh, concerning the UDO on 12th Avenue South. And if you have any concerns, they can contact myself and Council Lady Berkeley uh, concerning the UDO on 12th Avenue South. That meeting will take place again on April the 18th at from 9 to 10 a.m. Uh, it's going to be held at the held at the Midtown Hills uh, Police Precinct. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Lady Moore. Council Lady Langster. Anything? Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's good to see you again as our time rolls. Well, my time rolls on. Yours probably won't start. But um, I would like to invite uh, the neighbors in the West Nashville uh, area of the 21st District to a very important meeting April the 14th at um, um, Emmanuel Baptist Church, 903 uh, 40th Avenue North. Uh, most of the people in that area are concerned about a lot of rezoning for uh, a piece of legislation that's in planning at um, um, uh, Mending Hearts legislation. I couldn't think of it. Mending Hearts legislation. And this neighborhood is very active in being involved in all rezoning legislation that takes place in their district. So I would like to invite everyone to come out. It's at 6 o'clock on April the 14th at Emmanuel Baptist Church. Also, um, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to offer our condolences to... Um, to the family of Paul Pasquale. Uh, he passed away this week. Funeral services will be held uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, at Gordon Memorial United Methodist Church. And people in North Nashville, particularly in, in uh, my district, they're familiar with this gentleman. He used to walk 23rd Avenue North. He walked Jefferson Street, always well-dressed in a three-piece suit and a bow tie and a hat. Even in the summertime, uh, Paul would uh, have his jacket on his arm walking, and uh, he is going to be missed. He is a well-known uh, gentleman in the 21st District. We do ask for uh, your prayers and condolences that the family uh, prepares to bury him tomorrow. And thank you again. Bye. Thank you, Council Lady. It's always good to see you, too. Council Lady Dow. Thank you. I just want to make three quick announcements. I want to remind all the neighbors out in District 32 in Southeast Nashville that on Thursday, April the 9th, uh, Mayor Dean will be out in our community at the Southeast Branch Library and Recreation Center launching his new and exciting community-wide health campaign. So it's going to be Thursday, April 9th at 12 noon at our Southeast Community Center in District 32. The address is 5260 Hickory Hollow Parkway. Uh, come out and it's a free two-mile walk. So can't beat that. Uh, the other announcement I have is on Saturday, April the 11th, we're hosting our District 32 community-wide cleanup. I'm inviting all of our neighbors out in District 32 to participate. We will meet at 5318 Hickory Hollow Parkway. That is the uh, Crossens Plaza 
Plaza, which is across the street from Freeland Chevrolet uh, at 7 a.m. to 12 noon, and we'll disperse from there and go out into the district and uh, clean up various areas. After that, uh, once you finish cleanup, you can come back and we'll have lunch prepared for you. And the last announcement I want to make is every third Saturday I've hosted our Neighborhood Roundtable. Uh, so we're hosting our Neighborhood Roundtable on Saturday, April the 18th. Uh, the meeting will start from 10 o'clock to 11.30. And this month we're going to talk safety. So each month we talk about a different topic. So it's going to be at the Southeast Recreation Center, 5318 Hickory Hollow Parkway. Look for my sign inside when you come in. Uh, so join us. Breakfast is also served. So come out and we'll talk safety. Thanks. Thank you very much, Council Lady Dow. Council Lady Blaylock. Thank you. I just want to invite everybody in District 27 to come out this coming Thursday to the Edmondson Pike Library. I'm going to have Google there to talk about what is going to go on in our district. And also, we're going to look at some infrastructure um, potential upgrades. Um, a lot of people are looking for a light at the corner of Brewer and Nolensville Road, so I want to kind of get a heads up on who's interested in that. Um, we do have a Zaxby's coming in there, so looking forward to that. So please come out at the Edmondson Pike Library this Thursday at 6 o'clock, and hope to see you there. Thanks. Thank you very much, Council Lady Blaylock. Council Lady Johnson. Thank you, Chair Matthews. District 29, I just want to remind everyone uh, that we're meeting this Saturday, April 11th uh, at 9 o'clock a.m. And we'll be boarding the chartered bus provided by Grand Avenue Gray Line to tour other community centers. And we'll end up at our last stop uh, at the last community center with lunch discussion and feedback on what you would like to see in the community center and the park for Smith Springs Road. So if you're interested, there are only a few seats left. Please uh, make sure to text me. Um, my number is 615-977-6721. And also you can send me a quick email to karen.johnson at nashville.gov. If you are unable to make the trip on Saturday, the community meeting regarding this um, planned new community center and park is the following Thursday, April 16th at 6.30 p.m. And this meeting is at Smith Springs Church of Christ, 2783 Smith Springs Road. And again, the time is 6.30 p.m. And you'll see signs posted throughout the community. And I will send out reminder emails. Thank you. Thank you very much, Council Lady Johnson. Council Bedney. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I have a message from our B District 31 Beautification Commissioner. On April 18th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., there will be a cleanup on Brookview Estates and Hickory View Estates. And uh, Joe Crow, the commissioner, is asking that people meet at the Lowe's parking lot located at 5520 Nolensee Road by 9.30 a.m. Uh, if you want to get more information, you may call uh, Joe Crow at 497-1929, and this is uh, for a cleanup on April 18th. I also uh, wanted to let you know that for the people that uh, work with Councilman uh, Coleman on the rezoning of the property on Blue Hole Road and Bell Road, that that uh, the people that purchase that land are asking for a, um, re a, re a revision of the pre preliminary plan. Uh, it's called the Millwood Commons Plan Unit Development. And uh, they want to uh, uh, create or uh, allow the uh, the building on 540 apartment units. Uh, if you, this is going to be in front of the planning commission on uh, 514, uh, May 14. And if you have uh, any questions, you may call me. My number is 8296226, or you may attend the planning commission meeting. Uh, again, this is. A adjustment of an original approved uh, rezoning and they are uh, asking to make this adjustment. So if you live in that area, have any comments, please call me or you may attend the Planning Commission meeting. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councilman Bedney. Council Lady Gilmore. 
Thank you, President Pro Tem. I ha I'm having a proud mommy mo moment. I just want to congratulate uh, my daughter, Anaya Gilmore Jones, who was the Miss Jabber Jabberwalk pageant winner this past uh, Saturday for 2015 for the Delta Sigma Thetas. I just wanted to tell her congratulations, and we're very proud of her. Thank you. No, thank you. Please send Anaya all of our congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Hagar. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Two nice announcements here coming up on April the 10th at the Andrew Jackson Elementary School at the corner of Shoots Lane and Oregon Boulevard. They're having their spring auction and silent auction from 5 to 6.30 p.m. They're going to have a dance there for the children as well. Everybody's invited to come. This is a very great fundraiser for Andrew Jackson Elementary School. And then on April the 18th, if you like yard sales, the O'Hickory Village back on Hadley uh, Avenue off Oak Boulevard is having a, uh, a village-wide yard sale. So anybody's welcome to attend, and you might find some nice items back there. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much, Councilman. And Councilman Banks. Thank you, Chair. I just wanted to make sure I announced to folks in District 4, especially along the Nolensville Corridor uh, and in uh, District 31 in uh, Councilman Bedney's district that a uh, piece of, uh, or excuse me, a proposal has been made to the Planning Commission is going to be deferred tomorrow, so they do not need to show up at 4 o'clock for the meeting, uh, and we will be having a community meeting moving forward if, uh, if it goes before the Planning Commission moving forward, so thank you. All right. Thank you, Councilman Banks. Are there any other council members that wish to be in queue? Seeing none, I now declare the announcement period closed.